Hello guys and gals, it's me, Jeffrey, again. Today, this isn't really a culture chaos or anything. This is just more like a thing that kind of talks about YouTube in general. And So basically, this recently happened, and it involves a, one of my favorite YouTubers, Diesel D199, and a specific like animation or a sh that was also turned to a short. And apparently, like this video involved the all engines go version of Thomas the Tank Engine. Like this was supposed to be a parody of Thomas the Tank Engine, but it was on YouTube Kids. So base I'm not gonna show the video that's on the Fox News or the British Daily Mail because that would just spoil the thing. But I will speak it out. I mean I might show the Thomas Shore in general if it's on the British Daily Mail. But I'm just going to read what we got here, and I know some people don't really trust the news because of these whole propaganda shit. I just, I'm just playing this on here just to tell you what the heck is going on, so here we go. So according to one of the sites talking about it, I know some people are going to say this is some kind of propaganda, but I just want to tell you what's going on. Now, this is, to, this is talking about YouTube in general, so... Hannah Bishop, a mom in Tennessee, found her two-year-old son watching what said to be a parody of Toss the Tank Engine on YouTube Kids. And instead of singing a happy song, Thomas's face, because this was the All Engines Go version of Thomas, turned, you know, dark and aggressive. In the video, Thomas, the usually friendly blue tr tank engine, s said this, quote, unquote, I'm gonna kill the lot of you. As noted in the Daily British Mail, Bishop expressed that concern that this type of content could get past YouTube's content moderation policies and be accessible on its platform for children. I mean, quote unquote, I don't even know how to have words for this, she wrote in a TikTok post. Needless to say, we are looking for a different subscription for Brody to watch, she said. In the comments section of her post, various other parents said off about inappropriate content being available on YouTube Kids. Now, don't get me wrong. YouTube Kids ha is is a um app run by an app because they're intertwined by one corporate entity. Now... We didn't get much on the Fox News, but let's go to the British Daily Mail. So, yeah, um, I'll also try to find that short of Thomas saying that and, and tell you my, you know, you know, thoughts on it. So, yeah, like, basically, it's basically, basically what the whole point was, a happy-go-lucky Thomas was seen singing, I'm gonna chug. I'm gonna chew as he glides down the tracks, and many parents thought that the next sign would be "I've got a delivery to do" because that's actually the from the "I'm gonna chug" song from the let's say the very first episode of All Ages Go, right? And basically, this happened. So here's a uh, the picture of it. I think you can still find the scene in uh, basically um, the original short that this this. The short came from a, a video that Diesel D199... Oh, here it is. I think this might be the one. So, yeah, here it is. Um, I want you to uh, tell me your thoughts on this, and let's see if it still works. I'm gonna chug. I'm gonna chew. I'm gonna... Uh, okay, as said before, um, Diesel D199, he makes parodies... But basically, um, his parodies, even though they're Thomas related, are not really t meant to be targeted to kids because of some things like, for example, the Slender Engine or those older videos of Edward being a little bit sussy towards Percy. Um, and basically, yeah, this is why you, if you're, okay, so get, I understand this happened before. If you don't believe me that this happened before, so, okay, jump back to the year of, uh, 2017, I think? Yeah, 2017, when, um, 
Jeff, when, okay, so yeah, that time where, um, when the original Super Mario Logan uh, account was on the, you know, YouTube channel, basically, um, there was this controversy where, um, a kid was imitating Jeffy's behavior from the episode Jeffy's Tantrum involving the rope thing, and that caused YouTube to pretty much age-restrict bomb Logan's videos, like, every single video Logan had that was, you know, age restricted, you know, and that, then there was the Good Morning America shit, and then basically, that's kind of where it happened, like, basically, I'm just gonna say that, um, just because of a video shows a kid's character, it does not automatically mean that it's for kids, because there's always a slight chance that you're gonna see things like more mature topics that aren't really meant for kids we've seen this a lot in we've seen these ma slightly more mature topics that are more for older people seen in channels like for example uh paul's vids victor tanzig um the unlucky tug and I, I know for sure Turtles and Thomas' Sudry and Conflict videos were not really meant for kids because there was violence in them. And, yeah. And Leo Kim Video also stated that, um, that the YouTube algorithm systems are starting to be run by bots. And I might have to put a disclaimer at the, um, you know, beginning of this video because I'm just going to agree with Leo what Leo said is that the because YouTube's AI systems are completely total dumb ass. Like I'm just going to say this in defense of the Thomas fandom. Uh I'm going to go with the Thomas fandom because one we we are YouTuber creators. We're not your fucking babysitter for your kid, okay? Like and two, um technically it's the parents' responsibility for what their child should be watching. Like, if you don't feel comfortable, like, you know, watching, you know, something that's not really meant for kids, and if you have, like, let's say you have a young child and it, it it's just not recommended for them, don't let them watch it. Let them grow a little older, and when they get to that recommended age, let them watch it. But give them you know, like, some, like, permission or guidance, like, some of your discretion, like, like, parental guidance is what I'm saying. Like, YouTube Kids is also known to have certain things that aren't really meant to be for kids. And I'm not going to get into those things because, one, that's for another video, and that is a different matter. And I just honestly, like, YouTube basically is a a platform but because we're running on a system that is ai generating what's for kids what's for not for kids and basically um yeah it's all you gotta check on what your kid is watching anyways i hope you enjoyed this little rant and i i hope we understand that it's technically the parents responsibility to watch what their kids watch this is jeffrey samberski signing out